Hey guys, welcome back to another banging video here on the channel. <laughs> uh, if this is your first time here, my name is Raymond and I am a real estate broker here in Atlanta, Georgia. And I do, this portion of my life is uh, YouTube. And on this channel, I take you to different cities, different communities, different suburbs here in the Atlanta metropolitan area to show you around, to give you some hands on the ground perspective as to what you can expect. So today I'm gonna be shooting my video here from beautiful, Fayetteville Georgia yes we are in Fayetteville in Fayette County uh, and we're gonna go ahead and talk a little bit about the community talk about the suburb here in Fayetteville as always I'm gonna give you some stats I'm gonna give you some things to consider when thinking about moving to Fayetteville Georgia so without further ado let's get into the video guys as i said we're in fayetteville georgia and uh i think it was only right to come to fayetteville now i've been trying to get to fayetteville for a while but unfortunately uh the weather has been crazy here in atlanta um it's either been raining um or it's been super weird um and my schedule just don't permit but today it works a beautiful beautiful sunday afternoon here in fayetteville georgia uh just to kind of give you some context to uh the time of me shooting this uh so what i'm going to do in this video first is i'm going to just kind of show you around uh i'm going to turn the camera so you can see what i see and then i'm just going to talk through kind of where we are and give you some perspectives and then we're going to transition into talking about the demographics the statistics as well as some pros and cons of living here in fayetteville so definitely tune in stay uh you know watch the whole video and drop a comment below and let me know what you think um so let's get into it all right ladies and gentlemen so let's go ahead and start our tour so uh hopefully that music does not come through i don't want to get the video uh copyright but they do have beautiful music playing uh you know all kind of music playing here on the courtyard so this is the old fayette county courthouse right here uh they are celebrating or last year they celebrated their uh bicentennial here in fayette county 200 years of existence from 1821 to 2021 right here in fayetteville georgia uh so speaking of that, Fayetteville, Georgia is actually the county seat for Fayette County. So all of the uh, government here for um, Fayette County uh, will happen in uh, Fayetteville. OK, uh, so kind of keep that in mind. All right, so yeah, definitely keep that in mind. So this courthouse is the old traditional uh, courthouse. Uh, as we walk, I'm going to give you some stats about Fayetteville real quick. So Fayetteville is located 24 miles uh, south of the Atlanta, uh, downtown Atlanta, Georgia. Um, so not that far. I mean, 24 miles here in the uh, Atlanta metropolitan area is definitely not that far at all. <laughs> as I said, it is the county seat for Fayette County. Um, so let's go ahead and walk. Uh, so as you can see, uh, right here in front of you is going to be... Oh, wow. Got some exhaust here. All right, get into it. Get into it then. All right, so right here in the front is going to be kind of the main little um, district here in Fayetteville when it comes to just the old town feel. Uh, this is traditional uh, as far as the historic uh, aspects of Fayetteville. You got some shops. You got uh, Twisted Taco, uh, really nice uh, taco place there. My wife and I have uh, eaten there before as well. I think we actually, we actually celebrated her birthday there one year. Uh, so very nice place to eat tacos if you're into that. Uh, and then you have some uh, more professional uh, businesses on that side. And then over here you have a few more retail spots um, here uh, as well. So that's pretty much the square, if you will, of Fayetteville. I mean, it's not a whole lot here in the square. It's not as big as McDonough Square by any means. Uh, it's just laid out a little bit differently. As you can see, that little sign there kind of gives you some directions as to which directions and places you can go. If you head, um, that's going to be heading north uh, on uh, uh, Highway 85. That'll take you up to uh, the interstate that direction which will take you up to Atlanta if you make a left at Lanier Avenue which is that road here going that way that'll take you over to Peachtree City okay so Fayetteville Georgia is located right next door to Peachtree City uh, and Peachtree City is in Fayette County as well okay uh, so just give you some context there so let's go ahead and walk over here to uh, where all of the legislation happened for 
the county. Um, you get, you'll get to see the county legislation while, as we walk across here. Let's get out of the way. Uh, this is a jeweler store. I've never been there before, but yeah. So here is a different view of Fayetteville here. Uh, right across the street in this building, which we're, we're, which we're going to go and take a look at here in a second. That's going to be all of the uh, uh, county government buildings. Okay. Uh, this tour is going to be a little bit different. So you can see the, uh, the mirror on the uh, side of that building that says, Welcome to Fayetteville. Don't know if you can see that. Um, but today's video, we are also going to jump in the car because Fayetteville is so unique that like I said, it's not a whole lot to see right here downtown. So we're gonna jump in a car today. So you guys are gonna get some driving. Uh, I know a lot of people have been talking or when they reach out to me, say, man, why haven't you been doing any of the driving stuff, the driving tours? I like to kind of see it from, you know, that passenger side perspective. So we are gonna take a look at that today. So definitely stay attuned to the video um, and let's, let's get into it. So I'm gonna get you guys across the street and let you take a look at um, the county government then we're going to go ahead and walk down to city hall as well so you can get to see that as well and my little light thing hasn't turned yet and i don't know why but again this is a sunday evening guys so you can see kind of what the traffic looks like um fayetteville does get a lot of traffic uh coming through here because it is situated in a way that there's so many like you you can come this way to actually okay he's creeping up uh, actually go to uh, Peachtree City like I said as well as uh, going into Atlanta and this this road here that's a major highway that is highway 85 which will take you all the way down to Columbus Georgia so you do get a lot of traffic just kind of passing through as you can see uh, so just kind of keep that in mind so as we walk over here you'll get to see the uh, county government buildings so this is where you would come to pay your property taxes uh, for the county uh, and any type of county business that you may have uh, to deal with. So one of the things I will also say, and we're going to come back probably to this pavilion here to do our pros and cons. Um, but one of the things I will say about Fayetteville that I like is that it is a small town feel, but you have access to everything you need. Um, so obviously being next door to Peachtree City, uh, which we're going to do some vlogs about Peachtree City over the next few months or weeks or whatever. Just stay tuned to the, <laughs> I can't, I can't tell you exactly when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen uh, at some point. So just kind of keep that in mind. But living right next door to Peachtree City, you get the higher end uh, brands and things like that because Peachtree City is definitely a, a step up to Fayetteville as far as, um, you know, cost of living and and real estate and everything like that. So you do get access to that as well as Atlanta. I mean, it's not that far from Atlanta, 24 miles south of Atlanta uh, on a non congested day. You can get from Fayetteville to Atlanta in less than a half an hour or about a half an hour. Um, just depends on how fast you drive. But this is where you will do all of your county business here. Uh, you have a physical health office, you got the finance office, environmental management, all that stuff, okay? But as I said, one of the things I really personally like about Fayetteville is that it, it is very, um, you, can, you can get everything you need to get done living in Fayetteville without having to drive too far. Uh, as, when we get on our driving portion of the tour today, you're going to get to see uh, the Fayetteville Pavilion, which is a huge commercial retail district uh, where you'll be able to find all of your big box brands and all of things like that. Okay. Um, we're also going to drive into some different communities in Fayetteville to show you kind of the variety as to what you can expect. So today we're just walking. Let me flip the camera around on me and we can have a conversation. Ooh, it is windy. Yeah, blowing in the wind. <laughs> Come on. Come on, wind, let me be great. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, it is very windy. As soon as I turn the camera on me, that's when the wind gust picks up. So I think that means that I don't need to be talking to you guys uh, in this direction. 
<laughs> so we got to get down here to City Hall and I'll come back because the wind going in this direction, me talking, is not working. All right, so this is the City Hall for Fayetteville, Georgia. So if you need any City Hall business, this is where you will come uh, to do it. And uh, it's 210, I, I don't know what street that is, but there you go. So this is the city of Fayetteville City Hall here. I'm just gonna kind of walk behind City Hall to show you some of the development that's going on right behind City Hall, uh, just to give you some perspectives. Again, Fayetteville is a very well-known city in itself, so it does not really need a whole lot of explaining and all that. But I do know that there are people you know on this video that comes to this video to learn about Fayetteville so I do try to be very descriptive in my approach when I'm talking to you because again the reason for you coming to the video or watching the video is to pick up something to learn something about Fayetteville so right here this is gonna be this big multi use facility multi-use area where basically they're kind of recreating if you will a, uh, a downtown square I mean in in the modern way uh, you do have uh, some new signage here uh, Fayetteville actually did also elect to change their logo not too long ago a few years ago if I'm not mistaken uh, but this is the grander entrance from the City Hall which is why I wanted to show you guys the backside you have your flags up top and this is this is what you expect to come to for uh, downtown uh, so this is a fairly new portion of uh, Fayetteville. All of these little suburb cities are investing so much money to do this, which is to make their city city center more appealing, okay? Uh, more uh, resident friendly, uh, being able to have that community oriented feel. As you'll see when we walk through here, you got playgrounds, you got dog parks, you got pond, uh, and you have all of these things that's catered to bringing people together. But this is the brand new uh, city hall here in Fayetteville. Uh, I think it's a, <laughs> although it is beside a graveyard, I will point that out. <laughs> I will point that out. But, um, you know, I, I was told at a young age, don't be afraid of the dead, be afraid of the living. So I think that there is some context to that. But, um, yeah, here is, again, the uh, city hall for Fayetteville. So let me walk down here and show you the lawns and kind of give you a perspective of the dog park. And then we'll head back up to the car and then we'll do some driving around Fayetteville. And uh, yeah, well actually before I do that, I need to actually give you my pros and cons of living in Fayetteville. So we'll take care of that in just a moment. Uh, but let's walk down here and take a look at, uh, at that. And it actually does have the cemetery on the, 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 the plaque there. So that's... That's very interesting. They're not hiding it at all. Maybe it's a, I don't know the, the meaning of that or the historic history of that cemetery. Maybe it does have some sentimental value to the city of Fayetteville. Uh, very likely. But this is absolutely beautiful, guys. I mean, you see those apartments back there? They could be apartments or they could be townhomes. I don't have much information about what that development is and who's developing it. Uh, <laughs> I should have definitely did some research on that, but I did not, so I don't know. Uh, but I will know by the time you contact me. I can tell you that. Okay. So this is uh, the Dotty. Okay. Don't know what that is, but okay. Uh, this is my first time coming back here, guys. So we're coming back here together. Um, and I'm just going to try and stay out of people's way and kind of go on the outside. I don't like to, I, for some reason, it, it kind of freaks me out when I'm talking. It, again, when you guys do this YouTube stuff and vlogging, it is, it is, it takes some skill. It takes some time to get used to talking to the camera and because it, because when people see you, they think you're talking to yourself. Just FYI. All right. But this is, this is uh, the new area here. So this is the playground area, which is the lawns. And then uh, they do have a dog park that is a further head up here so so yeah i think it's a very uh good thing that they did here developing all of this all of this and, and you know not too long ago all of this was just trees all of this back here was just trees it's crazy so that is the dog park right over there so if you want to bring your dog out you can do that without limitations and people looking at you crazy um 
And you can also do what I'm doing, which is just get out here and walk around. There's a perimeter sidewalk all, all around all of this whole, this whole uh, concept here. So very, very nice. Okay. Very, very nice. Um, so this is, again, this was uh, one of the cities on my top uh, cities south of the metropolitan area. So definitely go and take a look at that video if you have not seen it already. Uh, it will give you my rankings of the south metropolitan area and how Fayetteville stack up amongst other suburbs in the south metropolitan area. So definitely go take a look at that if you're watching this today. Maybe we can get some uh, context to who's building over here. Only thing I need to see is a sign. Once I see the sign, guys, I can tell you. I don't see. Normally, when um, you have this big of a construction in this this area here, there would be some type of marketing, but I don't see anything. Strange. <laughs> so also, you do have uh, a few of these uh, picnic areas here that you can actually go out and uh, sit down and convene with family. There's also an event center that's gonna be here. Maybe that's in development, cause I don't see it as of yet. So you have uh, Triumph Station, and then you have Lion Creek Brewing Company, Bus Barn. All right, so you have so much right here in this uh, downtown area. And this is the lawn here, where you can see you can come out here and just run around and be free. Uh, similar to what they did in Lawrence. If you have not seen that video, definitely go take a look at that video as well. But uh, let's see if we can, okay, I see, a, I see a coming soon sign, guys. Let's go over here and take a look at what they're developing and what's coming soon. See it free together. Before we do that, though, let me show you and let you explore this map. So this is some history. Okay, I like this. So this is just uh, kind of what this master plan, this, this, this area is going to consist of Main Street, Fayetteville, Georgia. Um, and so you can kind of see the uh, complete vision. You can, it's still in progress. So we came in off of uh, Stonewall Avenue. We walked around City Hall. We came down so you could see the area there. Uh, so this is, this is the end product, okay, of uh, what will be. So that's absolutely cool to be able to kind of see that complete vision, okay? And most of it is already here, honestly. I think everything, just about everything on the list is here. Uh, but this area here is going to be what? What is this going to be? Okay, what is it going to be? Oh, it's going to be apartment home. So if you want an apartment, here you go. Here you go, Walton Fayetteville. So Walton is a fairly popular community or builder or apartment I shouldn't say builder uh, apartment complex uh, they have like different Walton so you have Walton Reserve Walton Heights and Walton this and all so here you go Walton Fayetteville is gonna be coming here soon so there you go I, would, I mean they're in frame it now so I you know by honestly guys if I come so today of making this video is uh, March 20th I'll say we come here August 20th, you'll probably have people living there. So, this is this April, May, June, July. Honestly, probably July. Yeah, by July 20th, you have people living over there, for sure. If not sooner. <laughs> Doesn't take long at all to build, build things. Uh, particularly, I don't know about just where you are, but here in Atlanta, uh, things are very fast when it comes to construction because, you know, you have your material, you have everything you need. So it's not that overwhelming. Alright. So you see Triumph Station here, which is an eatery. So you can come out here and eat your food and it's an open open air environment where you can actually uh, take your food out and and come out on the eat on the park. Or eat outside on the uh, in the park area. If that's what you wish to do. But very nice. Very nice, very nice. So we're gonna go ahead and walk back up uh, right beyond, I'm gonna show you the library too. So it's right off uh, of the library. You can uh, go and check out a book if you want to. Whatever you wanna do.
Let's go up here and take a look at the uh, the library. But this is another perspective of the brewing barn. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Take a look at that. Little flowing pond thingy. It's cool. That'll keep the kids distracted. You know, anything you can do to keep them distracted is always a good thing. <laughs> All right, so I'm not gonna, well, yes I am. Let's walk up on the stairs and you can kind of see the back side of the county government building, which is behind there. Uh, so you can kind of see how they're working all of this in, right? So uh, when we started right across the street as well. So only thing, my only concern about this area, from what I can say, when I, from what I see, is it's very closed. So you have to drive. It's almost like a complex. You have to drive in. Um, so that's going to be interesting. And I did not see much parking. So maybe some of that area that's in construction back there is going to be to serve as the parking. Uh, because once this place gets good and going, uh, I could see parking being an issue here. But that's just Raymond. And that's just my opinion. All right, so this is uh, one of the Fayette County Public Libraries. Uh, so this feeds right into this Main Street uh, development that they have going on here. So very cool. Very cool. Very cool indeed. All right, so let's go ahead and try it on up here to the car. And uh, yeah, and we'll go and ride around Fayetteville and as we ride and I'll talk to you like we're doing now and uh, share with you my thoughts on some things but before we do that sorry I keep I keep skipping that I keep skipping the pros and cons and I don't know why so let's go up here to the uh, City Hall and uh, so I can hear myself think uh, and let's do the pros and cons of living here in Fayetteville all right, so let's get into some of the pros and cons of living here in Fayetteville, Georgia. Hopefully, the wind will work uh, with me and not against me uh, because I am outside, obviously. And I'm sitting here on one of the benches here in City Hall. And let me tell you, it feels really good to be able to do this. I mean, just to be able to walk around, sit down here at City Hall. This is, as if you become a resident here of Fayetteville, Georgia, this is your building, you know, and to be able to have this area where the community comes and convene together as a community where legislation for the county for the city is actually legislated um it's very very cool i mean it it gives you that that community feel and i think it just makes a well-rounded uh experience in my opinion you know to complete the circle of community but anyway so let me give you some stats first, okay? So as I said before, Fayetteville, Georgia is 24 miles south of downtown Atlanta. Um, the city limits reside, majority of the city limit reside in Fayette County. Now, there, there is a one portion of Fayetteville that is not, uh, so the wind today, I'll tell you, I'm gonna apologize right now, the wind is crazy. There's one area of Fayetteville, Georgia that is not in Fayette County. It is actually in Clayton County. So there's one that one section. So you just got to make sure that uh, if you want Fayette County schools, if you want all of the uh, Fayette County perks, then you want to make sure you pay attention to the property that you are buying or renting uh, in Fayetteville to make sure that that county is Fayette County if you want to get uh, the school systems, which I think if you're going to move out here to Fayetteville, you definitely want to be in the Fayette County side. I mean why would you be in Clayton County? I'm, I, I mean, uh, we, I'm going to do a whole vlog about Clayton County and why I feel that Clayton County is not a county that people should flock to right now in the current state of uh, its legislation and, and in the current slate, state of um, its oversight, if you will, because there are a lot of issues in Clayton County that definitely need to be addressed uh, before I think people, before I would recommend someone move to that county. Anyway, all right, so population is roughly about 19,000 residents here in Fayetteville, Georgia, in the city of Fayetteville. Uh, the demographics is actually very, very diverse. I mean, uh, amongst uh, black and white, uh, for sure. 44.8% of uh, Fayetteville citizens are white, 40.2% are black, 7.5% are Asian, and 7.53% are a combination of two or more races, some other race, 
um, or American Indian or Alaska Native. So I always combine my 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 last um, my lowest percentage amongst all three of those different or three or four of those different uh, racial makeups. So for the most part, Fayetteville is a very diverse city when you compare just just Georgia. Um, you know, Georgia is very much a black and white state, honestly, uh, with uh, with some Hispanics and Asians. But that's pretty much the largest percentile percentile of pop uh, of residents in the whole state of Georgia. So, um, you know. So yeah, but nonetheless, Fayetteville is an extremely diverse city in that regard amongst black and white uh, with a almost 10% population of Asians. So um, I think you get a, a, a good you know, balance in a melting pot. All right, so uh, the average household income in Fayetteville is $88,828, uh, which is um, pretty decent. 71.1% uh, of the residents own their properties and 28.9% of the residents rent their property. Um, and then a medium home listing price in Fayetteville is $389,900. So um, it definitely higher than the uh, metropolitan average of about 375, just a little over that. Uh, but that is uh, how those numbers stack up. Now, the public schools here in Fayette County uh, is one of the top uh, public school districts in the Atlanta metropolitan area, 100%. Uh, so yes, you do pay a little bit more in real estate. Yes, um, you know, taxation may be a little bit higher, uh, but you get so much in return. I mean, to be able to send your children to public school that is ranked amongst the top five in the whole entire state is definitely, to me, a, a very uh, a good thing. So here are some of the rankings for the public school system. Uh, it ranks uh, fourth in the safest school districts in the Atlanta area, fifth in the best district school district in the Atlanta metropolitan area overall, and sixth best district in the state of Georgia. So very good place uh, to live in regards to the school systems for your children. Uh, the nearest major interstate is Interstate uh, 85, and the distance from the Hartsville-Jackson International Airport, the world's busiest airport, uh, and honestly, the world's best airport here in Atlanta, Georgia, is only 14.2 miles from Fayetteville, Georgia. So, uh, very advantageous place to live if you travel a lot, if you need to be able to hop on a jet. Hey, Fairville will get you there quickly, and you can also be further away from the uh, city uh, and, and get a little bit outside of the, the city issues, if you will, that are issues in Atlanta. So, again, all around, great place to live to me. But now let's get into the pros and cons, man. Let's let's go ahead and jump into the pros and cons of living in Fayetteville. So I'm going to start with the pros. Uh, the first pro is diversity. Uh, as I said, I gave you the numbers, very strong diversity amongst white and black individuals. And I think just in the state of Georgia, being able to have that security and safety in that, uh, and that will definitely give you hope about your community as being a, with being a resident of Fayetteville. It's not a one-sided uh, demographics, uh, and, and the issues are uh, going to be taken up that actually represent the majority of the residents and not just one-sided, right? And so I think that's always important. Being in a diverse area, uh, I think there's great pros in that in itself, okay? Uh, the next pro is going to be the top-notch public schools. I mean, hands down, one of the best public school districts uh, that you can uh, find here in the Atlanta metropolitan area, uh, that balance uh, crime, that balanced diversity, right? Uh, a lot of people, you know, will say to me, Raymond, I don't want to be black and have to live in white only areas just to send my children to great schools. And I always give them that answer. I agree with you and I don't either. And that's why I tell people Fayetteville, Georgia is a great place to consider because you get good schools, but you also get some diversity that, you know, makes you feel very welcome to live there. Uh, and not like you have to sacrifice your comfort um, as being in a non-diverse area just for this, uh, for the sake of sending your school, your ch your children to a great school. Because here's the reality: if you send your children to a great school district and the diversity sucks, you think your child, you, do you think your child is going to have a good experience in that school district? Now they may have all the opportunities, if you will, based on the school district, but. I don't think they're going to have a great experience because of that lack of diversity. Uh, it's 2022, yes, but 
I mean, we still got a long way to go when it comes to uh, equality and treating people like humans versus treating people in representation of their race, right? Uh, so, so yeah, we have a long way to go there. So therefore, I still in 2022 would not subject my child to a, a white-only school district uh, and and their needs not be met uh, because of that lack of diversity. So you're definitely going to be able to obtain great education, uh, but also with a school district to have enough uh, diversity to where your child can thrive. All right, number three on my list of pros is going to be strong real estate values. Uh, you know, values maintained in Fayetteville. Uh, hand over fist, I mean, because of the great school district, because of the low crime numbers, uh, because of the overall relation to uh, popularity um, and things that Fayette County and Fayetteville is doing every day to achieve that, uh, real estate values typically hold. Uh, you don't have a lot of sliding back and forth. You don't have a lot of, uh, 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 you know, issues when it comes to that. So you're going to have a better opportunity to preserve and maintain maintain your equity living in Fayetteville in relation to some other uh, areas in the Atlanta metropolitan uh, area. All right, so now let's move on to the bad because with every good thing, there are some bad things. So, so let me give you some of the cons of living here in um, Fayetteville. So one of the cons about living in Fayetteville, Georgia, is the fact that it is highly landlocked. It does not have direct interstate assets. You have to drive, and my notes card say, 11 miles uh, to get to Interstate 85 and 12.3 miles to get to Interstate 75. So that's a good amount of miles just to hit the interstate, right? Uh, so if you do have a very robust commute every day to Atlanta, uh, or north of Atlanta, then you definitely want to try to look and see and find a location that is the closest you can be to the interstate, which is probably going to be closer to the uh, Peachtree City side of Fayetteville than opposite. Because, uh, yeah, you have to drive a decent amount of way, uh, a decent amount of miles to get to the interstate in order to hit that interstate. So that's my first biggest con is that you have to do that. And sometimes it can take you 20, 25 minutes just to get to the interstate and then start your commute. So um, I think living in Fayetteville is great for a person that's hybrid. If you do work in Atlanta or North Atlanta metropolitan area, then if you can work from home, say four days out of the week or three days out of the week and only have to commute two, I think you're gonna feel a lot better. Whereas if you have to commute every single day out of Fayetteville, probably can be a task that you may get tired of fairly quickly. The burnout is real, <laughs> for sure, when it comes to driving in Atlanta. But to each his own, to each his own. But that is the first con on my list. Uh, con number two, and that's going to be the last con, is the fact that Fayetteville, Georgia has very limited nightlife and uh, entertainment. Uh, right in the city okay and what I mean by entertainment I mean like entertainment for like say celebrity entertainment or uh, big venues uh, you're not gonna get that living in Fayetteville or anywhere remotely like super close you're gonna have to drive into Atlanta for all of your nightlife stuff all of your entertainment stuff so if you are you know a younger millennial because I'm a millennial too but if you are younger single uh, you know, you may find that living in Fayetteville is a little bit too reclusive for you. It's probably a little bit too family oriented for you. And it don't have, you know, does not have a lot of nightlife. I'm just being 100% with you. Uh, so if you're the type that likes to go clubbing or, um, you know, you like to, uh, you know, be able to hop on up, you know, do a, you know, do a basketball game or do a football game, you can do it. You just got to drive into town to do it. You can't really do it super close by. Okay. Uh, but that is my last con. That's my only con, li literally living here. I think that's the only thing is like nightlife. Now you do have dining, okay? So what you'll see when we drive around, you do have some dining options. Um, but I think for like fine, fine dining, you're probably gonna have to go over to Peachtree City because I don't think there's a lot of fine dining here. Uh, but just your casual dining, uh, yes, you can find casual dining here in Fayetteville without a problem, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and jump in the car. Oh, I got to walk up here to the car. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to walk up here to my car, and then we're going to jump in there. We're going to just, I'm going to take you to the uh, Fayetteville Marketplace, show you around there so you can see one of the actual, you know, biggest shopping retail areas for Fayetteville. Um, and then uh, we'll take a look at to, uh, take a look at some communities uh, for sale. Now, let me, let me answer this question here. 
because I'm getting a lot of people ask me, Raymond, do you deal with rentals? Raymond, do you deal with rentals? Raymond, do you deal with rentals? Um, I do not work with rentals one on one for every rental. It just depends. It's so. Uh, it just depends on what you're looking for, what your budget is, uh, if it's an apartment or if it's a house. But what I do offer is I do have a mini guide. It is a rental mini guide that will give you advice and I will give you recommendations as to what you need to do if you are relocating here to Atlanta or the Atlanta metropolitan area or one of the suburbs like Fayetteville um, and you, you, you're you not ready to buy a house or you feel like you're not ready. Number one, definitely I'll say, you know, you know reach out to me uh number one to see if you are ready uh if you if you feel if you're unsure if you know that you're not ready then i would go ahead and purchase the mini rental guide and that mini rental guide uh is 49.99 and it will give you uh hands down everything you need to know about transitioning from uh, from where you are to Atlanta in rental purposes, right? For, for rental purposes. I'm gonna tell you what the rental qualifications are, what type of qualifications you need to have. I'm gonna, also gonna give you some short-term transitional recommendations, like, okay, if you, uh, if you're relocating with a job, right? If you got a job uh, here in Atlanta lined up, but you haven't started it yet, you just got your award letter, uh, I'm gonna talk to you about, you know, which communities may accept that, uh, which way you may want to go as far as, you know, looking at single family rentals or multi-family rental. So I think that is my answer to anyone who's asking me, do you work with rentals? Number one is I don't know because I need to know what your situation is. Number two, I will always offer you that rental mini guide. Go and get it, digest it. Uh, we also have one of those guys that come with the consultation to where you can do the guy and then we can do a one hour consultation talking about your specific issue, your, your specific relocation. And then we and I can like follow up on uh, from that mini guy what I think you need to do. I can also answer questions in a consultation about what communities may be appropriate for rentals, what communities have uh, higher favorabilities for certain situations. Um, so that's what I can offer for rentals. Okay. Uh, so definitely, if you are looking for a rental property or if you want to transition to Atlanta, you're moving to Atlanta, but you're not ready to buy, pick up the rental mini guide, go through it digest it and I guarantee you it's going to give you everything you need to prepare and to make that move to Atlanta and you also get the consultation with me if you get that that option we'll go through it together and then from that consultation I can also verify if I can work with you one-on-one -on -one or if I can't okay so that's pretty much the steps that I have for rentals so definitely take advantage of that while it lasts it's not up yet actually it may not be up by the side of the time of this video if it is I'll link it in the description below if you don't see a link to it below drop a comment and then I'll let you know when it will be available okay and or you can reach out to me directly all my contact information is below as well so without further ado let me get to my car and let's go ahead and get into the driving tour of Fayetteville George let's do it real quick one of the things I want to point out here is there is a charging point uh, a charge point rather uh, this is the name of the company for EVs I am an EV owner uh, I don't know if you guys seen, have seen my car in the videos but I do have a, a Tesla and I wanted to show you that they do have a small mini uh, which is a slower charger uh, here in Fayetteville so if you are going to be in the area and if one of these are available you probably can uh, come bring your car up here and charge it up uh, you will need the uh, JA I'll put it in the bottom there's an adapter if anybody have a Tesla you know you have to have your adapter to uh, hook up to uh, that specific uh, charging uh, port and then uh, because Tesla's have their own uh, little hookup if you will I don't know how, I, I'm probably explaining it horribly but essentially Tesla have his own wire that hooks up to their own car so we have the Tesla owners use an adapter to hook up to just basic uh, chargers uh, because Tesla has to be different all right I just want to point that out real quick so I'm almost back here up here to uh, my car to uh, begin our driving portion of uh, Fayetteville but this is uh, that mirror I was talking about coming in here off of uh, Stonewall and South Glen Street uh, but this is uh, what you will see if you come in from Peachtree City up into Fayetteville uh, of Highway 54 this is exactly what you will see and you're greeted with the mirror to let you know that hey you are in Fayetteville 
All right, guys, let's get into the next portion. I had to show this little section here. So this is a little tavern. You want some live music? You can go get you some live music over there. <laughs> I know. I got to, uh, hopefully it don't flag me here for that. But uh, I thought to bring that to you, especially since I said, you know, one of the cons was like nightlife. But that place does not, I don't think they open really, really late. And uh, they may close at like 9 o'clock. <laughs> uh, but yeah. All right, we're almost to the car, guys. And we're going to jump in here and uh, get into it. <laughs> 